Thank you for tuning in to Keen I Reads Goosebumps. In today's episode, I'll be talking about Slappy. There seems to be some confusion surrounding this cover art specifically, and any comments I make here relate entirely to the UK text and this edition that you can see in front of you. So what exactly has been confusing people? Triad VG has written, That wasn't even Slappy on the cover, but the actual antagonist of the story. To which Halloween Kid has written, that was Slappy, though. Besides, that looked barely anything like Mr. Wood. Firstly, I'd like to thank both contributors for their comments. Thank you very much, guys. For those of you who don't know, Night of the Living Dummy features two ventriloquist dummies. The first, introduced as Slappy, is found by one of the main characters, Lindy. This event is seen from Lindy's twin sister's perspective, Chris, and reads as follows. A child? Chris uttered a silent gasp, staring in horror as Lindy lifted him out of the dumpster. She could see his face, frozen in a wide-eyed stare. His brown hair stood stiffly on top of his head. He seemed to be wearing some kind of a grey suit. He is further described thus. His brown hair was painted on his head. His blue eyes moved only from side to side and couldn't blink. He had bright red painted lips curved up into an eerie smile. The lower lip had a chip on one side that didn't quite match the upper lip. The dummy wore a grey, double-breasted suit over a white collar shirt. The collar wasn't attached to the shirt. Instead, the dummy's wooden chest was painted white. Big, brown leather shoes were attached to the ends of his thin, dangly legs. My name is Slappy, Lindy made the dummy say. A little later, we get the first insight into why the dummy is well suited to his name. Beat it, Chris, he snarled in a harsh, raspy voice. Get lost, you stupid moron. Before Chris could back away, Slappy's wooden hand shot up and he slapped her hard across the face. Further into the story, a second dummy is introduced. This dummy has been brought by Mr Powell, the girl's father, and given to Chris. The new dummy wore blue denim jeans and a red and green flannel shirt, and instead of the formal-looking shiny brown shoes, he had white, high-top sneakers on his feet. We are then told that this dummy's name is Mr Wood, and that, quote, his hair is bright red and not brown. So far, the descriptions seem to indicate that the picture, or cover art if you rather, of this particular text could be either Mr Wood or Slappy. The suit and blue eyes indicate Slappy, however, the bright red hair, Mr Wood, Let's consult The Art of Goosebumps by Sarah Rodriguez to see if she can shine any light on this subject. Unfortunately for us, Sarah Rodriguez, although her book is absolutely wonderful, has only commented upon the American releases. She writes, Mr Wood is the actual antagonist dummy of this book, where Slappy becomes a central figure of the subsequent living dummy novels. Fair enough. She also goes on to say, the use of shadow is what really draws the eye in this cover. Slappy's cheerful smile and tidy hair and outfit only add to the sinister insinuations caused by the glow of his green eyes from the shadows. Further in relation to the American text, Curly says, Slappy's eyes are described as blue in the book, but on both the original cover and the 2008 cover, he is depicted with green eyes. Although this doesn't take us any closer to ascertaining the true identity of the ventriloquist dummy on the front of the UK release, it's still nice to have a look at the art. Please enjoy. Back shortly. <music> Lastly, let's compare the CMYK to the RGB. Perhaps the hair colour was changed in order to be sent to print. Can you see any differences between these two images? Whilst researching for this video, I reread this book twice for the purposes of making it, and at no point did R.L. Stein describe the colour of Mr. Wood's eyes, something that could possibly help with ascertaining the identity of the dummy on the cover. However, 
I will leave you with this quote from the text. Mr Powell, the girl's dad, says that Slappy looks just like Lindy's dummy and that the two were probably made by the same company. So who exactly is a dummy on the front cover of this book? To me, I believe it's an amalgamation of the two, of both Mr Wood and Slappy, with a little bit of creative licence by the artist. Although I can't be sure, and I can't say so with any degree of certainty. What do you think? Feel free to leave your comments in the section below and have your say. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Until next time, Kina. For more Goosebumps related content, check out at Kino Reads on Instagram. Lastly, consider visiting Kino Reads Etsy store by following the links down in the description below. I hope to see you again soon. Kino.